So, I wanted to show you something that I see also is not done properly. I've got my cement in and my bolt. I've got the strap not coming through and then folding back on itself with the excess, but rather coming through and coming flush to the face of the bolt. So you see that right there? My strap comes through and it just goes flush. Then I start tightening it. You have to come through at least, you know, you make your strap about 12 to 15 inches further. So you cut it off right here, bring it back, tuck it in to flush. Then you start winding it. It needs to make at least five wraps around this. That's why you give yourself about 12 to 15 inches of excess to make those wraps. So I'll try to set my camera up here and watch the whole process. So I've got a, a 24 millimeter socket, 24 millimeter crescent wrench, and then a 5 8 inch crescent that fits onto, there's a secondary little line over here. Okay, focus camera, there we go. So I fit the 5 8 onto this little square part. So once I get up to a certain tension, I'm going to have to stick this on, hold it, and then put my ratchet on, and then ratchet, and then stick this back on to hold the tension, and then stick my ratchet back on. Anyways, you'll see the process, but that's that's what this, uh, this 5 8 inch is for. So, all right, now, now to get to it. Okay. So like I said, at first, all I do... It just by hand, make sure that this feeds into itself properly, and tighten. One thing to mention is you do not want your strap to not be centered on here, because if it starts folding itself over onto the threads, you're not going to be able to, when you start screwing this on, the strap will get in the way, it'll be butting up against this part over here and you won't be able to seat this square part into the hole on this side, which you have to do so it keeps its tension. So you gotta make sure that you're aligned correctly with the I-beam and that your overlapping is not gonna work its way over that direction. Okay, so at this point, it's time to start using the 5 eighths to hold tension. So tension on, work the 5 8 into there, pull it off, tension, come on, sometimes it needs a little, a little tap to get back over again, okay, 5 8 back on, come on, There is a tool made for this that makes this a lot easier. It holds onto the 5 8 and it's all just ratchet. You just ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. But I don't have that tool, so I have to fiddle around with, with the secondary presser. If you're going to be doing a lot of this, I would recommend getting that tool. Alright, so now I am twisting it. And it's not putting any more tension on here, it's just tightly winding up the strap on the bolt. Because if I don't get that tightly wound, then when the wind does start blowing, that'll start, uh, start pulling out. So we're almost there. I'm gonna do like, yeah, it's right there. All right, now I am tight. So now at this point, I'm gonna start here. I'm actually going to switch this over. I'm going to get my 5 eighths back on there. Just stick my crescent on this side to hold tension. All I'm doing with this wrench on this side is I'm, I'm holding this so that the square is in line with the square opening. And then start tightening it down. And as I tighten, it's going to suck that square into its hole. Okay. So, at this point, 
I made. Oh. I made the mistake that I said not to make at the beginning. And this is a good object lesson. All right. So right there, you see how my uh, my strap was not aligned over itself. And so, because of that, it's worked its way over this way, so as I tighten on this side, it can't go any further because the strap is actually preventing it from seating. So I've got this square halfway seated on there, which is not good enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to unloosen this side, pull this back out, unloosen this, scoot it over, and then do, do this over again. So if you don't want to have that happen just make sure you don't let this slide over there all right so if you want to watch feel free otherwise that's pretty much the end of it <clears throat> all right. so at this point Because if you just try to tighten this down, you'll strip the threads. So, there you go. Alright, so it's popped free. Now, you know, try to just slide it over. Yep, alright, so that worked. That's good. So now, it's all slid over to its proper position. Now I'm going to kind of do this tightening over again. Wrong one. All right, five eighths. Come on. All right. So at this point, I'm gonna stick my five eighths back on again. Press around. Five eighths off if I can. There we go. Right. Once again, crank this down until the square groove of the bolt fits its way into the square slot. Alright, now. That is better. <sighs> Sorry, knocking you down. Alright, so now you can see it's fit into the square slot and everything's good. So, there we go. And that is that. <laughs>